Hi, this is AAP.net Pro MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to work with, create, read, update, and delete operation by using stop procedures in AAP.net Core MVC. In previous lesson, you already know how to work with CRUD operation by using the NDT Core Framework. In this lesson today, in this of using the NDT Framework to work with the shortcode, you will know step by step, learn it from beginning by using the star procedure. And in the part one, you know how to create the Visual Studio project. And then you know how to create the SQL database. And the last step, you know how to write a script to create store procedures for your project. Okay, let's get started. First is I will open the Visual Studio 2019 to create a project. So here in the Visual Studio 2019 dialog, I have an option on the right hand to create a new project in the Get Started section. Okay, click on this one. And here I type in the search box in web. So it will filter all of the all of the thing here related to the website. For the main languages, I will use the C stuff. So now I will go ahead to select the ASP.NET Core web application. Click on next button here. And on this step, we have to do some configuration for new project. I name it for my project. My first C C R U D dot net core. MVC, something like this. I can change the location for this. I select another folder. I select this one. And after that, I will click on create button here to create a new project. In this option, I will select the template a web application model view controller. We have no authentication, and in advance, I have a configure for HTTPS option here selected. And the current version is .NET Core 3.1.0. Click on Crypt here. So, new project has been created. I close this welcome message here. We have just finished creating the .NET Core MVC project. So, before we come back to work on the project here, I will open the SQL Server and create the database. I am open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And in this video, I will just create a very simple example. So I will open the SQL Server and create a table and I will call it a student. I create a new database and I have a my first dot net call c r u d d b so here i expand this one and i expand the table folder here so i will right click on the table and select a new table okay so in this table i will create some column i have id a name gender, class, address, and the last one is node. Okay. So here I will set the column ID the primary key by the select the column ID and right click on this. Select set primary key option. Okay. So here the data type I will change it to the integer and ID. For the name I will use the nvacha because I want to enter some of the Unicode character for the name. For the gender, I will also select the same thing here for the Envacha. Envacha, Envacha, Envacha. For the class, I will increase the size of the address. 
and the nodes as well. In ID column, I will make it the auto increase. I will have option A. In the column, column properties, I will scroll down and you see we have identity specification. You expand this one and we have option E identity. I will change the value from no to it. I will enter the name for this table is student. Close this one and refresh. The new table has been created. So in this video, I will work on the CIUD operation which start using the entity framework. So I will create some the stop procedure to handle some the CIUD operation in the shortcode. So here, you scroll down in program mobility. I expand this one and we have a folder is stop procedures. I right click on this one and I select a new and start procedures. So the template will be generated for me. I will delete this one, some the unnecessary command, and then I will reuse the template here. This is the template to create the sequence server. So I will follow this. The outer name, it should be my name, GNVH. Okay, created this, I will delete this one. Description. This will be the great new student. And for the procedure name, I will delete this one. Name it is SP with the, this is pre prefix or great new student. So, and in a great new student, I will have some of the parameter. I will delete this one. Parameter. I will have some parameter in name. Name and vacha. It should be 15. And aside the default value is empty. We copy the same thing for another one. Name, gender, class, address, and note. Name, gender, class, address, note. Increase the size. And now in the begin, I will delete something here. I will have the insert into student. I have insert into student. I have provide some the name, gender, and class, and address, and note value. I will have a as name, as gender. I think I need to create a get on student first. I will edit here. I will train a get on student as the get on student. I don't. I ha in the get on student. I don't have any parameter. So let's have a select option query here. Select arrested. Um, select on from student. And the next one, I will create the option a um, update student. The update student is should likely the same thing. Create new. I will have a update student. I will change it to update student. So for the update student, I need to provide the... Okay, here I have as student. I will provide this one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Update student, I will have a, an ID. Because we need to provide the ID, a student ID, in order to update specific student ID. It should be integer, default value equal zero. So here I will have the update student. 
this student set name equal name gender equal gender class equal class address equal address and note equal oh no note where yeah we need to provide the where where class e will be id equal at id and i will save this one first name this one e will be the copy this and oh, no. copy the other way name okay save it again get off i will have this one and id okay update and so now i will have the delete option copy it delete student i will have a delete for the delete student i only need the parameter id and update the query here i will have a delete from student where id equal at id and then i will have option e get student by id get student by id it should be the same delete get student by id this one will be using for get the detailed student information of a specific student id i will have the store name you get student by id okay for the id zero i will change the query here by select at rich and from student where id equal at id now i will execute the query here f5 save it again so here all of the store procedure have been created and I'll open the store procedure folder refresh this one you see we have a five star procedure have been created so that means we have that finished working on the database so now we back to work on the short code in the visual studio okay so we should have some time for break and then we will continue learning in the next lesson thank you